guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. In our last episode, I introduced you guys a very specific term that is Lu Cha and that used to describe a specific kind of woman in China. If you're not familiar, click the links below. In this episode, we are going to talk about another word and that is used to describe a certain kind of man. Now that word is Hai Wang. Hai Wang. It literally means the king of the sea. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about Aquaman. <laughs> I can't say you're wrong, but we are talking about the Chinese context. So focus. What could Hai Wang mean? I'll give you a second. You can pause, actually. Feel free to do so. Also, those are the new derivatives of the recent years. You know, it has these extra meanings. So it won't help if you ask your, you know, lovely Chinese grandma next the door. So, <laughs> Hai Wang means someone who is very good at chasing women. <laughs> and they often possibly have been chasing several women at the same time, and they never really commit themselves to. And it also has the hidden idea that they are quite rich. Uh, they're kind of like the playboy. So we call them as Hai Wang. So I'll give you a context how to use that. For example, you're on a blind date, right? And you came back, your besties asked you how did it go, and you were like, I don't know. I think I may have Hai Wang. I don't know, I maybe I run into a Hai Wang, which means, you know, that's not gonna happen, you know. Um, but uh, I think if you can just tell him it's a Hai Wang, that's kind of like a low list. They may be very good looking and they know what they got, so they're kind of like using their physical attractions to attract girls. Um, but some high level Hai Wang wouldn't just show, they would show, you know, they're really committed to you and you only find out later. Okay, so we call it as Gao Duan Wei Hai Wang. What about women? I'm sure you know. Uh, so the counterpart of Hai Wang would be it's a great time to test your Chinese vocabulary. <laughs> what's the king? What's counterpart of the king? So it's gonna be the queen, right? So how to say queen in Chinese? We can say Huang Hou, right? So lose Huang part, so you just get Hai Hou. <laughs> so there you go, you have Hai Wang and Hai Hou. And so next time, if your Chinese friends is talking about this stuff, or you saw it from the Chinese TV drama, which often it appears there, you know what that means. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like it, please feel free to share it and subscribe it. You will get more news on Chinese language and culture. I'm Stephanie, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.